Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're finally going to be doing our off-road review with the 2022 Toyota Tundra Limited TRD Off-Road. Before we get into the off-roading, though, I do want to mention, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. I will be raising the price in the near future, so if you want it at the lower price, get it now. And let's get into some quick specs on the Tundra, and then let's hit the dirt. So before we go through the first obstacle, let's talk about the off-road capability here of the TRD off-road package. Now, I couldn't find a specific ground clearance to this package, which was kind of annoying. So it sounds like it's roughly around nine inches, maybe nine and a half inches from a ground clearance perspective. We also have skid plates underneath. We have these 20 inch wheels, which are the uh, off-road <laughs> wheels. And then you guys can see the tires. We've got Bilstein shocks as well with the TRD off-road package. And then all of the new Tundras, come with coil suspension in the back end which will help out and then this one has rock rails as well and so yeah suffice to say should do pretty good so we're going to try something different in today's off-road review we are going to just go through the movements that i think are fun with the tundra should be easier from an editing perspective for me and uh should be a little bit more exciting for you guys because i'm not going to show you guys uh you know i guess boring off-roading but there's the first little thing Now here is the second thing which we're actually going to, never mind. I was gonna pop in the camera, but you know what? I don't need to, this isn't difficult at all. But this at least shows us a little bit with the flex on the camera view and with the ground clearance. And yes, I understand there's a Mazda 3 on this trail. I understand, I understand, I don't need to see it. Anyways. So next little, not really obstacle, but this just is supposed to kind of show us the suspension. Whoop. Yeah, so far this is uh, pretty impressive actually. Okay, so initial annoyance. Constantly giving me warnings that I turned off the stability control. <laughs> Constantly. So kind of frustrating. This one, again, just to kind of show suspension flex a little bit. Not difficult at all. Wow, super smooth. Gosh, I love this new coil suspension. I'm gonna start a high speed section with a uh, launch and two wheel drive, which just equals a burnout, as you guys can see. <laughs> Uh, well, not really, a, it, not a normal burnout, sand burnout, right? Um, but I did quite a bit of driving before the section so I can kind of tell you guys how this handles high speed stuff. And I'm not gonna spend as much time on the high speeds course as I normally do because this truck just isn't really meant for that necessarily. It's not why Toyota made this truck the way that they did. Um, but I'll at least be able to show you guys that, well, it can handle you know, some bumps and you can do some higher speed stuff with it. So I noticed the absorption with the shocks is definitely uh, solid. Handling's actually really good. Uh, that's what, something I was surprised by because again, it's a full size truck, but yeah, it does a really good job from a handling perspective. And so, you know, if you're just in, you know, wide open space in the middle of the desert, like I am right now, then yeah, the, the Tundra can handle. It's not on the same level, obviously, as like, you know, Ford Raptor Ram TRX, but again, this is so much less expensive and that's not the segment this competes in. Um, but the point that I'm trying to make is it can, it can, whoo, it can handle it. You can kind of get a little bit of tail happy action here with it. These 20s make things somewhat difficult though. I will say that, I'm gonna be honest about that. Wish it had a little bit of a smaller wheel and more sidewall. Obviously, if you buy one of these, then you can, you know, do aftermarket wheels and tires, but you know, it's commenting on the truck as, as it stands. Another thing to mention, um, braking system in this is actually really good when you have it, when you have every, all the computers turned off, it actually handles 
this kind of stuff pretty well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's all shocks. No wind today, and so this dust is taking forever to clear up. But you know what? Gotta do it for the video. This will probably look cool from the uh, tripod camera though. Which is sitting right there. Ooh, sliding all over the place, but <laughs> this thing, uh, this thing gets up. This thing gets up. I can tell you, um, you know, with the Gen 3 Raptor with 37s, this feels, you know, not quite as quick, but it's pretty close. Obviously this doesn't have nearly the tire that the uh, Raptor has, but you know, it's it's impressive the, the acceleration this has, all things considered. And look at this, <laughs> pretty cool, right? Okay, so this is not particularly exciting. Uh, this is just a hill, I, I, I don't have the, sensor up but i'm guessing this is probably only like 15 degrees maybe in terms of the incline um, but the reason that i am filming for you guys is i want to show you guys again it's so annoying with the thing telling me oh your traction controls off uh, i have in four wheel low and the steering is actually really uh decent in four wheel low like it's still really light on uh, terms of steering there's still that normal like dead zone that i had before um, but it doesn't seem like being in four wheel low really runs the maneuverability all that much and it just it just pushes like it's it's really impressive how this truck just moves uh in four wheel low so now here's another cool bit of off-road tech here with the new tundra you guys can see uh, the camera system is amazing i talked about this in my main review but notice i've got these trajectory lines and then if i actually pop it into reverse same thing notice it shows me tire shots and it shows me uh you know in terms of the degrees that i'm going and it's rough uh, no, we don't need Britney Spears. <laughs> we need our off-road camera. Um, but again, like I said, this isn't huge. I just want to show you guys the off-road camera here. So I am a little bit nervous for this one. Why is this starting third gear? Not because of how steep this is. It is steep, very steep. I am more nervous because of the rocks and puncturing a tire. Sliding a little bit here. Okay, it's doing fine. It's my biggest worry is puncturing a tire. Handled it beautifully though. No hill descent control or anything, just four wheel low and some clenched butt cheeks. <laughs> So for this hill, we're gonna go down and then back up and then down again because I'll have to go down. Um, but I just wanna see what it's like going up. Obviously going down is typically harder. Why does this thing, I'm like, man, I'm not getting any engine braking. Ooh. See, this doesn't look crazy in camera, I bet, but like, Looking straight at the ground, and we are going to eat a tumbleweed. Tundra likes tumbleweed. Sorry, sometimes I am very immature. Um, but anyways, 
Oh, oh, there we go. We're running it back over. Uh, no tumbleweeds were harmed in the making of this uh, video. Look at that. So cool with the wheel shot. Helps out a lot. There's just like a stack of them. Am I going to be able to clear this without hitting my camera? That's too close. I don't want to risk it. Sometimes we risk it for the biscuit and, well, sometimes we do not. Camera. Okay. Stop starting in fourth gear. <laughs> yes, I know. We are running through a bunch of tumbleweeds. Okay. So let's see how this is going with grip on the way up. Oh, that's easy. I should have probably picked a harder obstacle, to be honest. Um, I mean, that one I've... So I don't have to look at these charts to tell you guys. Because I've done that same obstacle in my Raptor and it's like 20, shoot, it's like tw mid 20s, it's like 25, 26 degrees, which I understand is not, you know, crazy if you're a hardcore off-road enthusiast, but you guys gotta remember, this is a factory truck, factory tires, and this is not an off-road crawling package. This is like basically, <laughs> I mean, this is this is basically like your entry level, entry, entry, entry level. This is, I would even put this below entry level off-road package. This is, um, again, nothing that you would really take the mob or anything like that. It's freaking out again. So, I mean, like right here, I mean, this isn't 100% accurate. It says 30 degrees. Well, there we go. It'll be, it's not 30 degrees. I don't think it's 30 degrees. It doesn't feel like 30 degrees, but yeah, high 20s basically. But the fact that the tires grip and everything, yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with how that, uh, just, just how that handled. I suppose we will sum things up as I am getting down this mountain. I just drove for probably a good half an hour trying to find another fun obstacle for you guys. And frankly, <laughs> I can't really find anything that really challenges this truck. And I think that I kind of want to make a point in today's uh, video is modern vehicles are so capable off-road. It's just, it's crazy, right? Um, like, think about this for a second. This is straight out of the factory, and this is considered an entry-level off-road truck in today's world. It has, you know, from what I've looked online, over nine inches of ground clearance. It's got, you know, off-road-ish tires. It's got off-road shocks. Uh, it's got coil suspension, which is very good for off-road use. It's got a low-range transfer case. It has a locker in the rear, which I have not had to use uh, whatsoever. And again, this is considered entry level, which is crazy because a lot of this, a lot of the tech in this truck and also the off-road camera system, a lot of the tech in this truck was not uh, available, you know, like five decades ago, right? For, you know, any sort of uh, other off-road vehicles back then, it was like, you got four wheels and you're just gonna, you know, mash the gas pedal and hopefully you make it up the hill, right? And you got brakes and you're just gonna, you're gonna hope that they work in the right way so you can make it back down the hill, right? Um, so yeah, it's, it's just crazy. The off-road tech that we get in just modern vehicles. And so really like any vehicle, if you throw a low range transfer case, a rear locker and, you know, some ground clearance at it, it'll be able to handle 99% of what you would need it to handle. Unless you're trying to flex on people at uh, Jeep Safari in Moab, basically. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, there's, there hasn't been anything that I've thrown at this truck where it's even like remotely struggled. So I'm, I'm gonna keep looking for you guys. And if something pops up, then I will, you know, throw it in today's video. But 
I, I really don't think, I think that the biggest obstacle to me is making it back without puncturing these uh, tires. So I guess we have one more clip before we cap off the video. And this is to show this is a true off-road rig. I mean, look at this flex that we have happening over here. You guys can see the suspension a little bit. Now this side doesn't look all that cool, but you know, it, it looks okay. The cool side is actually over here. Look at that wheel tuck we got. It's pretty, it's pretty neat to actually pop up here. I'm doing this for the uh, thumbnail, so this is, I guess, behind the scenes, so you guys can see how the thumbnail is made. But, yeah. I mean, it flexes pretty well.